Welcome to FOH this week on FOH. Special guest star, uh, Kenny Gargan. How are you, Kenny? <laughs> Searching for the will to live. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Kenny. Yet again, we have to listen to Bruce. He's gone. Who's this, the Sopranos wannabe in his band? <laughs> I hate this. I said, oh, yeah. I said that's Stevie. He said, Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Ten years. And then, and then... Who's the bloke with the trumpet? <laughs> the trumpet! He said, there you see? He points to the screen. And the trumpet, it's a saxophone. He also plays trumpet. Very few people know that. <laughs> Including him. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to do R and J Churchill's MSA, June 18. The reason we're doing uh, Churchill's this week is very, very simply, we're going to be doing the Anehados Within a couple of weeks, the RNJ Churchill Anahadles, 10 year old tobacco, um, come out of somewhere uh, with an interesting story. We'll find out. We'll find out. Top of Where his game. He's top of I his game. Well, I've, I've, I've never liked the Anahadles program. I've told we've discussed this before. So, but in order to get prepped for that, I want to see where there was one that was good. One of the early ones. No, look, the. the the Churchill, the Monte Cristo Churchill was decent. The um, the Partagas Corona Gordo wasn't bad. The, the up, last one, was the Upland Robusto, that's the Upland Robusto with three different date codes: 07, 11, and 13, uh, and some 17s, four different uh, codes. That was a waste of time. That was, yeah, that was it wasn't disastrous, but it was what it was a what the f moment, yeah. I mean, really. Is this the best you can frickin' do? It cost a million dollars and was bog average. Yeah, pretty much. So, we got the... But I've heard some good things about the RNJ, but for, to us to reconnect with RNJ, we should have it today. What about top-selling... I was going to say Churchill's, but the reasons they're top-selling Churchill's because they don't make any others, really. Uh, Why are the, you yelling? The, it's raining today. So, I thought I'd get a bit more volume into this game. Go on, I'm, Ken, I'm, get I'm in just there. waiting for... Seriously, he forgot his tripod again. <laughs> I've got so many things to worry about, so many things. So he forgot <laughs> his tripod. So we're on uh, mailboxes and an upturned plastic rain. Ooh, hang on. i got a bit of a problem. Mine's a little bit plugged under the band. What's yours like? Try it. You check it. Bugger off. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. A massage at least. Be the first time you've stuffed up and given me the good one. I've forgotten to punch the. I'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. We'll be back at the end of the first third. Kenny, first third of this Romeo and Julietta. Very firm draw. Uh, yeah. Very firm. But uh, yeah, it's. But other than that, it's very well made. Uh, uh, there's a bit sort of um, a little bit of that creaminess coming through. I think. You got a bit of cherry. Uh, a little bit. I was thinking, a little I was sweetness thinking there. Berry, Is it berry? Berry character. It's me. berry, not yeah. necessarily cherry. Cherry berry, uh, but cr and, and a creamy note as well. Um, it's not overly generous at the moment, but it's I'm enjoying it. Very pleasant. Yeah. Very RNJ uh, in terms of Churchill. I, but it's just think, under medium body to me. Yeah, yeah. And I would think you'd look at this and you'd say, well, that's a cigar that's going to go for as long as you, you want. Um, Beautiful. A very good cigar. Soft. Um, some lilting spice in there. It's nice opening, yeah? Really nice opening. My, I had to clip a bit more off the bottom. Uh, well, I was thinking of foot. doing exactly that myself. Yeah, I, I clipped a bit more just to open it up a bit. But uh, very, very cool. I'll be doing it off air because otherwise I'll be critiqued. We're only here to support you, Ken. Only here to <laughs> if support only. you. If only. You couldn't spell it. Back to you. The second, third. Kenny, we're not talking about the skins anymore. We're talking about the R and J Churchill second, third. It's yeah. got sweeter, a little bit and sweeter, and more or, or, you know, that red cherry character. Um, it's coming through. Almost so, a jelly bean character. If you, look, you might be able to see a photo uh, of this cigar to get Steve to put it up. But uh, in terms of this, is pretty much a Colorado wrapper with just a touch of red to it. In the scale of red wrapper R and Js. The redder the wrapper, the better it is as far as I'm concerned. But this would be about a 5 out of 10 scale in terms of, of redness to that wrapper there. 
I'm a huge believer in red wrappers when it comes to RNJ and RNJ Churchill's in particular. It just imparts that berry aspect to it. That Rosada wrapper and berry just go hand in hand. But uh, this has really surprised me. This is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't mean that. I didn't want to bring out a bad cigar, but I, this is, I thought it was going to be Every a good week. cigar. Every good week. cigar. This has actually been a really, really good cigar for something that's only 12, 12 months old. So why didn't you think it was going to be any good? I was hoping that when I pulled it, and that, I, was, I was, didn't have too many of these chews. Now entering the Olympic backstroke. I was hoping that uh, it would have a bit more red to the wrapper to get more of that cherry note through. But hey, can't complain on that. You that could is... actually check them before you brought them. I was in a hurry. Um, Till then to the tripod. <laughs> yeah, I was in a hurry tripod. <laughs> I left that behind too. I was in a real hurry this morning. Anyway. It's picked up in body. It's now medium body. Uh, from just under medium. Yeah, mine's probably still under. Yeah. Just under, I think. But I'm loving that sweetness that's coming mm. through. Every drawer's got that sweetness coming through. A little bit of coffee there, not too much, but just nice, nice. Just a lovely conversational cigar to have. Agree? Yeah, well, I looked at it and I thought, uh, my immediate reaction was, there's a hint of the red, but certainly not as much as you see in the ones you really love. And so it's quite interesting how that really is an indicator of quality for these cigars, more than you any know, other cigar I can think of. Yeah, true. I mean, you know, a good... Um, Colorado Maduro thin wrapper under Monte Cristo just gives that cocoa chocolate note to it. On a Rosado, on, on an RJ Churchill, that Rosado wrapper brings that cherry to it. Mm. Different wrappers really impact upon different types of cigars. Uh, Upman doesn't require either one of those wrappers. An Upman wrapper, straight Colorado with sheen, just gives that nuttiness and that creaminess to it. So it's, it's about getting the right wrapper on different types of cigars. As a rule, a general rule, it doesn't always work that way. As a general rule, if you're shopping for cigars. Back to you at the end of the last third. Last third, Kenny. Of it's, this, it's got a lot more powerful. It has, hasn't it? We've a gone through under medium to medium full. Oh yeah, uh, mine's mine's. I love a journey, yeah. Very I love close a journey in a cigar. This this was under medium right through until the last last little bit, and it's really no cranked up. No, no, no. This is it's very powerful. This is a nice cigar. This is. Yeah. It's. I did have a little plug, but I got past that. Under the band, just under no, the band. No, no, no. Bit closer towards the. Towards the cap, yeah, near the middle. Yeah, near oh, the really. Middle. Yeah, just a just a little plug. Well, we got through it. I tell you what, if you're paying, um, I, I believe that the Anahado series of Churchills, the ten-year-old Churchills that are coming out, stop smiling. Uh, Three hundred dollars more a box than a box of R and J Churchills. That's not Australian. That's that's US, yeah. We're talking US. We're just talking US. So three thousand. So that is. It needs to be a seriously better cigar than this, doesn't it, to make it worthwhile? Um, yeah, except it's the same old thing. You often pay. You might pay twice something to get I a marginal. What improvement. I want you to do is to commit this cigar to memory, mm -hmm. that, because we're going to do this in two weeks' time. So commit this cigar to memory, because this has been a really, really good cigar. This is a ninety-two point cigar for me. Yeah, I think that's probably a fair, fair call. Fair? Yeah, fair. Cool. With a ton of upside. For a cigar that's only 12 months old. 91, 92. Yeah. Mm. Cigar that's only 12 months old. Mm. It's got richness, it's taken us on a journey. We've had a fantastic conversation during the course of, what, two hours, two and a half hours. It's taken a while. Yeah, this mm. cigar. Two and a half hours for a Churchill. Mm. Brilliant. Great afternoon. Absolutely. 92 point cigar. Which is, R and J Churchills have been really one of the winners the last two years. Two and a half years in terms of Cuban cigar production. Have you seen these new ones yet? No, I, I'll get them next week. I'm just curious to know the wrapper. No, no, the, the old, in the old uh, <coughs> wrappers, I can't tell you about. But then the old tins, the old um, silver. Oh, Susan G. Oh God, my sister. Oh, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> We're back. But uh, commit this to memory because this has been a really, really good cigar. Twelve months old. So, so we better have it up on video before. MSA so June 18. Myself. It will. No, no, it will be up on video next week because Steve's doing the videos now. And 
And uh, I've noticed the editing uh, is, um, shall we say, more beneficial to your profile than uh, Greg's editing used to be. Steve's on payroll. So, so <laughs> you must be paying him a lot. Because all the good bits get cut. But I am... Um, I'll be interested to see. So they're in the old cigar tubes, the old aluminium tubes. The silvery ones. The silvery ones, yeah. yeah. So let's see. But commit this to memory. What size boxes are they? 25s. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right now, 92 points. Mm. Looking forward to what the new Anahados are going to be. $300 more. I'm thinking you want it to be 95, 96 points. You, you do. You do. You have to. Yeah. You have yeah. to. And not just for down the track, you want them now. Now, yeah. 95, 96 point cigars. We'll you, you're not here. buying uh, a 10 year old cigar to put away for the next. Nope. Mm. We want to smoke them now. Yes. Let's see how they go. Mm. Great afternoon yet again. Thanks, Ken. I just do as I'm told. Hasta luego. Have a great week. Cheers. <laughs>